Hi there and welcome to this video, it's David here from the Optimized Press team and today I'm going to be showing you how you can integrate the awesome Samcart shopping cart into Optimize Press membership plugin called Optimize Member. So this means that you can use Samcart as your checkout pages and you'll be able to fire your leads over to Optimize Member. You'll be able to pass that data across to Optimize Member so that an account is created inside your membership site which is running off Optimize Press and Optimize Member. So we're going to jump straight in. I've created a few pages to start with. If you're not familiar with Samcart yet, it's samcart.com. This is their website you can see here on the screen. And you obviously want to have Optimize Member installed on your own site. If you don't have Optimize Member yet, you can get it inside the um, Optimize Press members area, which is members.optimizepress.com. Once you log in there, you can scroll down, you'll see Optimize Member here, and you can download it. It's a plugin, so you download it and you install it into your site like you do any other plugins. On the left hand side, you go to Add New, and then you choose Upload Plugin. And from there, you would install the file or choose the file from your folder or wherever it's stored on your computer. And you'd install it, let it in upload, then you'd activate it. And once you've activated it, you'll see the Optimize member appear on the left-hand side of your WordPress dashboard or the admin panel here on the left. And there's a quick start guide here. You can click on this link and it'll take you to a video which explains all the um, default sort of settings inside Optimize member and cover a lot of the basics. So it's worth watching that first if you've not used Optimize member. So inside the dashboard here, I'm going to sort of crack on with this and show you some of the things I've set up um, before this video. I've created a couple of sales pages, some thank you pages, and I've also created a product inside Samcart. So what I'm going to do is sort of do all the integration for you and then I'm going to walk you through doing the actual sale so you can see how it works sort of in demo mode or in live mode using a demo card. So let's um, just show you some of the bits here. Inside uh, the Optimize Press, inside my WordPress site, I've created a sales page and I've created a thank you page. So down here, I'll just open this in a new browser. I've got my sales page. So it's just a simple sales page designed inside Optimize Press here. And I have an order button towards the bottom, which people are going to click on and go through to my Samcart checkout page. And I've also created a thank you page here inside Optimize Press. So I've created a thank you page again, all built with a live editor. It's a cloned page pretty much of the sales page. I'll open it and show you. So it's just a simple page here, just says thank you, really just for the purpose of this video. Um, also inside Optimize Member, um, I'll go into the general options. And here we've got defined membership levels. So inside here we have the membership levels. Now you have 10 membership levels, but you can also add on additional packages, which allows you to sort of clearly separate what leads or what members can access what content so you can have members that are still on the same level for example like a level plan two but you might apply them different packages one might be something like ebook another one might be video courses and what this allows you to do is assign packages to users and you can then restrict other pieces of content to other users who are not on the same packages but maybe on the same membership level so using packages allows us to create these unlimited number of membership sort of access levels inside each individual membership level now the reason i'm covering packages is because samcart allows you to include packages inside samcart so when someone is buying something from you you can already assign this package level here so we have these 10 membership levels and we have these packages so i've created one here under level five you can see it's called samcart and if i scroll down maybe if i was selling a video course on samcart i could put in here video samcart and what i'll do if i scroll to the bottom click save all changes and if I go back to define membership levels, scroll down, you'll now see I've got a package here called Video Samcart. Now, you'll notice there's an underscore between the two words that I've put in that's automatically put in by Optimize Member. So when you're creating your package names, it's best to either use a single word, that's something that you'll recognize later, or just use a couple of words. Don't use any special characters and things, they get stripped out anyway. So just two words, you know, three words, something that's easy to define it to you if you're looking at it later on. So we could add more, so I could even add like, you know, ebook, 
Um, I could have others. I can comma separate these and put a, a few in at the same time. But if I was going to have ebook as well, I could add that. So this means I could then sell a product inside um, or on Samcart, and I could have sort of two products on Samcart, two separate checkout pages. One of them could be selling um, at the membership level five and giving access to the ebook. And the other one could be selling membership level five and giving access to the video version inside my membership site. So later on inside my membership site, what I can do is define which content people can see based on these packages. So only people who have the ebook package would see the content that I allow them to see inside the membership site. That's really content we'll cover in another video for you. At the moment, I just want to show you how you can integrate you know, this process with SAM cards, you can quickly sell something and add them inside your site. So that's really another video showing you how we break up all the content inside Optimize Member. So what we've done there, we've added the membership level and we've added the packages. And another thing we're going to do is get our API key from inside our Optimize Member site, which we're then going to go over into SAM cart and integrate. So down here on the left hand side, we have API scripting. So you're going to click on API scripting. And if we scroll towards the bottom, we have down the last option or second from last is Pro API for Remote Operations. So this gives an API key which we use inside SAMCART. This API key is unique to your own website. And this allows uh, SAMCART to pass over the user data and put it into your WordPress user accounts or inside the you know, optimized member users. So if we click on this, we scroll down from here you'll see your API key and we want to grab this API key because we're going to use it when we go over to SAMCart. So I'm going to copy that from here. So control C or command C on the keyboard and then I'm going to jump over to SAMCart. And the first thing I'm going to do is add in the optimized member integration. So on the right hand side and to the drop down menu we're going to integrations and then I click on integrations again here and I want to choose optimize um, press here from this link it says optimize and here we're going to put in our URL our API URL and we're going to put in our optimize member key so first I've got you got the key copied so I'm just going to paste that in and the optimize member URL is really just going to be the URL of your WordPress site so if I jump back to my WordPress site I'm copying the top here with the www added I'm going to add that in. Now one thing I'm going to do is remove the HTTP. You can see I'm removing that from there and then what I'll do is I'll click submit. Now you can see it says here there's no membership service connected. It says none. So I'll click on submit and we'll see it's now connected to Optimize Member. You saw the little success come up and you can see it now shows active here. So that SAM card is now connected to our Optimize Press site which is running off you know, with Optimize Member. Now, inside SAMCart, I've already created a product, so I've sort of kept this pretty simple. It's called SAMCart Video, as you can see it here. And SAMCart have all the tutorials needed if you want to know how to add products, add in recurring content, or sorry, add in recurring payments, you know, integrating with your payment gateways and things like that. And uh, they have all that videos covering everything that shows you how you can integrate. Um, so I've added the product here called SAMCart Videos. And my product price is set to a pound or a dollar at the moment. My currency is dollar. And I've just left the product slug as SamCart Video. And then description is called um, SamCart Video again. So one thing we need to do is go up to integrations for this product. And in member portal, I'm going to choose. Well, it's already pulling through all of my optimize um, member levels. And you can see the level here, number five, is already pulling through, which is called SamCart. And if you remember back in Optimize Member, you can rename these levels to be anything you like. You can see I've renamed this to SAMCart. So if I click on that, and it's also going to pull through my packages that I've set up. For this one, I'm just going to choose Video SAMCart. And you don't have to have the packages. You don't have to use them. It's just an option if you want to use them. You know, it, create, it automates the process of putting that user onto that package. If you don't have any packages created, don't worry. If you don't want to use packages, you can obviously just sell you know, access to a particular membership level. Now from there, I'll just click on the update. And over on the right hand side inside SAMCart, the little green 
um, icon showed me that it was successfully updated. And this URL here that you see on the top right, this is my shopping cart page inside Samcart. So this is the checkout page inside Samcart has been created. If I click preview, you can see here it comes up. A um, very basic uh, form that I'm using for this particular design. Obviously, you can go in and switch these design around inside Samcart. Um, let's we could actually try doing that now just to see how it looks. Actually, let's go back to products, Samcart videos, and we want to go through advanced. Sorry, back to product customization. You can see here there's some example forms that they've got. Let's preview this one. This is their classic template. And that looks a bit different. Let's go with that one. Let's click on activate. Scroll down. Actually, it's already saved that. So I click activate. It's already saved that. Let's go back and preview my page now. There you go. There's a bit more color to it. So this is my checkout page that I'm going to use. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this URL at the top here. So Command C again. Um, obviously, I can click copy URL over here, or you can preview it and click on the copy URL here. So I'm going to copy that. Now what I'm going to do is go back to my optimized press site. I'm going to bring up the page, my sales page that I created. I go to all pages. And I've got my Samcart sales page here. And I'll click on live editor. And from here, I'm going to scroll down. This is my button that I've created inside the optimized press using the elements of the, our button builder. And I'm going to scroll down. And where it says link URL, I'm going to paste in that URL of my Samcart checkout page. Now, you can choose to open a new window if you like. That's entirely up to you. I would say, depending on how long your sales page is, would um, be your preference here of choice. So if you had a really long sales page and a lot of information, you might want to choose open a new window just so someone might want to you know, go back to the tab or the window and just see the content on your sales page. Really up to you, something you might want to test which you know, if it converts better or not. I'll click on insert here so it's inserting that button back into my page. I'm going to click save and close. So I've now got my Samcart checkout page built and it's connected to my sales page. If someone visiting my sales page right now, if I open up this in a tab, and here's my sales page. If I scroll down and click on the button, it's going to take me through to my Samcart checkout page. Now, if you remember, I also created a thank you page here inside my optimized press site. So I'm going to copy the URL for that. So I can right click on the view here and copy link address. Or you could view the page and copy the URL, whichever you find quickest. What I'm doing is I'm copying the URL of my thank you page. I'm going to go back to Samcart into the dashboard here. Under advanced settings, we have thank you page URL. I'm going to type in or put in, paste in the URL of my Samcart thank you page. And so this is where the user is going to be taken to after they check out. Um, it's worth doing these just to give you know clarification to the customer or confirmation that their order has gone through. You know, people like to know that once they've placed an order and they've spent money when you, with you, you know, to see a confirmation type page afterwards, as really just you know to, it clarifies that order has gone through them you know, and gives them a bit of confidence knowing that their order has gone through. Now you can obviously your thank you page can be tailored to have anything with it. You know, whether you're providing more details or even a download. Or something it could you know it could be anything in our case we're just creating them to a thank you page because they're going to go inside our membership site now samcart does have loads of other options like upsells and split testing i won't cover that in this video but there's lots of other features you can do inside samcart before the user is even put into your membership site so it's a pretty clever piece of software that the guys have been coding here so there's my thank you page and i'll click update just to know if it saves that and we know that's in place and I can just click dashboard here, it takes me back to my Samcart dashboard. Now what we're going to do is I've already connected my Samcart um, account to my payment gateway. So you can connect it to Stripe, PayPal, you know, authorized on it. They've got various integrations. So we've already connected up Samcart through our payment account and I've put it into sandbox mode, which is testing mode. And I'm going to run through now and actually do a transaction. Let's just jump in and we'll see if I go to all users inside my WordPress site here, we'll see there's just me 
as a user. So what we're looking for is a new member to be added inside Optimize Member. Now, let's find the sales page. We've got the sales page here. Um, probably what I'll do is actually open this in another like an incognito window. So it's okay. So I've opened this in another window, of, really just so it doesn't. I'm already logged into this uh, my WordPress site, so I'm opening this in a you know separate browser window, so it's not going to recognize that I'm already logged in. Uh, what I'll do is I'll jump down here and I'll click on my Get Instant Access, which is my order button takes me through to my Samcart checkout page. You'll notice this yellow bar at the top. That's because I'm in sandbox mode. I'm in test mode just so the, um, the live transaction doesn't go through. It works exactly the same. It's really just basically a test mode for your site. So no live transaction or money is being going through or going to go through the, you know, the account. So from here, we're just going to fill out the details. At the email address that you use, you want to check that you already don't have that email address inside the WordPress site if you're testing. Otherwise, you know, it might throw back some errors. So we don't want to put in that same email. Make sure you've got a different email address. So we've got all the data filled out. What we'll do now is click on Place Order. And if we click that, it'll process. And we should be sent back to our Samcart thank you page that we created. And there you go. You can see the URL also switched and changed at the top here. So what has happened is um, Sam Cart has processed our order and it's then fired us or sent us back to that thank you page that we put in in the product inside Sam Cart. So let's jump back over to the optimized press site that we have and we'll go down to users, all users, and we should see a new user that's been added. That's myself with my email there. And if we look over on the right hand side, you'll see that we've got the custom capability or that package it's called Video Samcart. Also, if I edit this user account and go inside, we should see that I'm actually been added to the level, which is called Roll here, Samcart. So that's the membership level that this user has been added to. So the integration is working perfectly as it should there. Um, so what happens inside uh, Samcart, if you wanted to, you can uh, obviously sell different membership levels and different packages. So you, don't, you can split which users are added to which areas inside your optimized press site. That's the beauty of Samcart. The integration that they've coded makes it so easy for you to select them levels and those membership packages. So that's it. The user has been added inside the site. From here, you'll get a confirmation email that comes through telling you that a new user is registered. And also the user themselves will receive a receipt from Samcart, which has all the details, their address and their payment on it. Now, from there, the user can then obviously access your site. And for you selling content or selling membership levels, you can choose to sell obviously different levels and different packages. Or you can sell you know, uh, the same level, but multiple packages. You can really choose anything that you want to be selling inside your membership site. And that integration that they've coded there makes it so easy for you to do that. There's no sort of technical messing around with PayPal or PayPal buttons or even other shopping cart buttons. They've kind of taken the pain away of creating that simple payment form and then beautiful checkout pages. So that's it. That is how you set up Samcart to work with Optimize Member.